Let's make the triangle supports to go with those 3D printed brackets from the last video. I've got these miniature pallets that are just going to be some scrap lumber to go ahead and repurpose. So the first step is to take the pallets apart, just bang them apart and then rip out those staples that are left behind. A couple of the staples got a little bit too stuck on so I just used a different part of the wood on those. It's definitely not the most fun job ripping those out. Next, just need to measure out the different lengths that I need. Um, I've decided that the best projection for this particular bar uh, setup is going to be 9 inches, so I'm cutting pieces accordingly. Now, this is a terrible power tool I'm trying to use here. It's an ancient jigsaw that does not work very well that I found in the garage, so I definitely need to upgrade my power tools for the next project. But it got the job done well enough this time. Uh, now we're just I'm gonna drill some uh, pilot holes so the wood doesn't split, of course, when the screws are going in. And then I'm just using some number eight flathead wood screws for most of the joints here. For the top part of the brackets where the the printed part is joining the wood, I am gonna actually use washers and uh, a pan head screw for that. That's a little bit shorter. Those washers are really important because. In the part where there's going to be the most pressure on that semi-flex, there would be a possibility of it stretching, you know, and the, and the screw popping through and then it wouldn't be secure. But adding in the washers completely eliminates that possibility for the applications that this bar is going to have. I've printed the holes really small in the brackets because I wasn't 100% sure if they were going to end up being where I wanted the screws to be, since this was a little bit of an experimental thing here. But they ended up being uh, pretty ideal placements, so I just kind of widened those out just a little bit with the, with the drill, and then just screw everything in place. With all those screws and whatnot, it ended up being quite secure, but I am adding just a little bit of a corner support there just to make absolutely sure that there's no chance of this bracket uh, coming apart in any way. For the cross piece that's at an angle there, um, of course it's cut at 45 degree angle so that it all sits together fairly flush, but I'm not actually going to fully screw those together, just basically get the pilot holes set and make sure they're in the right spot because we'll need to actually have that piece taken off to install it into the wall. So it's more of just a temporary joint here just to make sure that those uh, pieces are gonna actually work together. Then with these pallet pieces, there was paint in various spots just kind of randomly on there. So I'm using that as a design feature, just sanding it off to reveal the grain, but leave some of the paint on there and it makes this really nice weathered sort of look and it's a nice contrast to the exposed hardware, more industrial look of the 3D printed pieces. We're gonna stop there for now. Next time I'll show you actually installing it on the wall and putting the whole thing together with the bar.